Guards! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy Pony, my head. Mm, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what'll happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles a manus suas. <coughs> Hac facite in meam commemoration. get what you deserve. Just you wait. The righteous will rise even though they fall seven times. I will. I, I wish my head would stop. Yeah.
good, Bob. Jesus Christ, your clothes! Were you assaulted? Damn bandits. May they burn in hell. I'm looking for someone they call Riki. That's the Tanner's son, Heenick. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank God for small blessings. You could try his folks' place. Good day to you. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Listen, your son's in serious trouble. I'm trying to help him, and my patience is wearing extremely thin. If you start answering my questions, this is going to go a lot better for everyone. Are you threatening me? And I'm supposed to believe you want to help Hinek? Believe what you like. I'm concerned about Hinek, but I really don't much care what happens to you. Is that clear? On account of that good for nothing. So? There's not much I can do for you anyway. Hinek came here, but he left right away. Well, where did he go? You better give me something. You really don't want to waste my time. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Like, don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. Good health to you. I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm that from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own coloured fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy about? You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with coloured fletching. <laughs> 